How much Italian could I produce in 30 days? Let's check it out. I outlined in my last video here my challenge to become conversational in Italian in 90 days. I gave everyone five steps that I would like to accomplish. Well, I wanted to do these all in a total of less than one hour a day, but number four and five were really hard to get to and I only did them each about one or two times. And I forgot to say last time, guys, I have a confession. I have studied Spanish before. Spanish is very similar and uh, I do have a little bit of an advantage there. So here's the 30 day assessment. Italian Uncovered, awesome. I did it just about every other day and I got to the end of chapter four. So remember, uh, I wanted to get to chapter 12 or 15 by the end of my 90 days, so I'm on good pace. And the stories, they are helping me to push along on what would seem like a normal boring textbook, but instead I have these stories that I can follow along with. Anki, great. I did it every day, except one. It is working, but it takes time. I'm trying to learn 10 new words every day so that by the end of the 90 days, I would have about 900 new words produced through Anki. But the idea of spending half an hour a day when I only have an hour to spend on language learning, to spend that time on flashcards is not something that I'm prepared to do. Each session is about 20 minutes or less. I did go to the mobile version of Anki just because I found it a lot easier. I wanted to be doing something productive on my phone and I felt like that was it. But man, the app for Android is free, but for the iPhone, it's like $26. No! Pimsler. I have mixed feelings about Pimsleur. I did level one and by the end of my first month, I finished level one and I was ready to reserve level two. Um, I have a little secret. I was able to get Pimsleur audio through my home library back home using my library card. And it was great, but when I went to reserve Pimsleur 2, they only have one copy and I was put on hold for this copy for another 60 days. 30 plus 60. Oh no! So I pulled a necessary audible and one of the commenters in the last video recommended Coffee Break Italian. And man, I remember doing Coffee Break Spanish a oh, long time ago. What was that? 2006? Back to the future! 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 Oh man! But Coffee Break Italian uses the same guy, Mark, who is in a lot of the Coffee Break series. Perfetto. So there we're seeing potere with non posso usare il computer. Don't you just love Mark's voice? It's so smoothing and he uses his radio DJ voice. Perfetto. Coffee Break Italian has three people involved. A teacher, Mark, who is kind of like the navigator, and then a student who is learning it and it allows you to kind of role play that you yourself are the student and feels very comfortable and is not too slow of a pace, not too fast. I think I'm going to continue it for the rest of the challenge. Pimsleur not working out was a blessing in disguise. For italki, I did two lessons in the first 30 days, not as many as I'd hoped for, but it, I think it was good because I'm trying to put in as much vocabulary as possible. I do want to get more practice with the pronunciation. I like italki because it allows you to try lots of different teachers without hurting anyone's feelings. You get to hear different pronunciations from different people from different areas. I think it's just wonderful. Italki is very affordable and there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. And lastly, Netflix. I I did start watching a movie on Netflix called Slam and of course it's a little high level for me but uh, it's something that I think I'll only do when I'm bored. So in summary, yes, yes, Pimsleur, mm, no, and then italki a little bit and Netflix maybe towards the end of the challenge or whenever I'm bored. Again, I want to suggest in this video language learning for Netflix. It is a wonderful extension for Chrome and I can't wait to try it out probably in the last half of my challenge for Italian. 
I tried the green owl on my desktop and it was like I was learning a new word or two here and there and I just kept typing and just kept typing. It felt like I was typing the same thing. And then before I knew it, I'd finished just one lesson and I thought, what was I doing? It's just not quite what I want it to be. And it is good for what it is because it is gamifying learning, but I don't see it being appropriate for this challenge. Anki, what nice gray hair you have. And lastly, I'm sure you wanna see a short synopsis of my level. So without further ado, here are some short video clips from my italki lesson and talking with another friend who is fluent Italian. Italian. Okay. Conocértelo, podcast in Spagnola, eh, Italiano, Chinese, eh, eh, Alcuni, Lingui, y mi piace coffee break. Ogni giorno, ogni giorno, eh, ho usato eh, anche. Ciao! <laughs> po, po, poi escut, escuti? Sto, sto studiando italiano, l'italiano adesso. E molto bene, molto divertiti, divertenti, divertente la parola è similare di spagnolo, lo spagnolo. Ah, plural, ok. Simili. Eh, sto sta studiando per un mese, eh, un mese, un mese. C'è una stagione qui in, in Giappone, eh, si chiami eh, to you in Japanese or the rainy season. So, eh, non ogni giorni, pero eh, in una mes mm, is possible eh, piove eh, or piove 20 o 25 volte in una mes oh, eh, e molto dura come si dice piove dura rains hard I think I could practice things I would normally say in conversation more I am not doing that enough that is one thing that I talked about in the beginning of the challenge so just going through typical questions that I would have in a normal conversation. Uh, these are some things I'd like to reinforce. By the way, what did you think of the intro to this video today? Did you like the transitions? My friend Dave, who I introduced in the last video, is starting to put together some compilations for uh, his own video projects. And if you're interested in seeing more of his work, I'll put the information in the description. So this time I just wanted to keep it short. Let's go on to month two and get conversational. Jalapeno in Giappone. Let's surprise our Italian YouTuber friends. Mamma mia. Ciao, baby. That's what she said. <laughs>